The fake Alex Jones trial and how it was used to scare truth speakers into hiding. So basically, I haven't really watched or kept up with this trial because I already knew what was going on before I even watched it or heard anything about it. The second that I heard that they were trying to put him on trial for the Sandy Hook situation or whatever, I already knew what this was about. And a little, little bit that I heard coming out of it, the little bit I read about it, it just perfectly fit with what I already thought about the whole situation, right? So in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, well, first of all, before I get too deep into it, I'll say I think Alex Jones tries to help humanity in his own way and present information and knowledge and he tries to wake the world up in in the best way he knows how right and some people like him some people don't it is what it is you you hate him or you love him that's that's the kind of person alex jones is but i personally don't have a problem with him i think he's really funny and i like a lot of his information i may not agree with everything it doesn't really matter that's not what this is about per se but what it is about is how they use all these trials, right, to get people's attention, right? And they get everybody hooked into all these trials and you're all into it and paying attention to it. But you got to look at what they're trying to do, right? And that's where most people either don't understand or don't pay attention or they believe the bullshit, right? I hear a lot of people talking about, oh, Alex Jones is dumb. He's stupid. He shouldn't have said what he said about Sandy Hook. Yada, 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 right? All these people are talking trash about him. Whatever. Okay? From my understanding, most of the things that he says are true. Most He, he doesn't really lie. He doesn't really make stuff up. So if he said what he said about that situation, maybe he was speaking the truth. Who knows? I don't know for sure. I can't fact check it, right? I can't. There's no way for me to know that. But... I would lean more towards he probably knows what he's talking about than he doesn't. But that's not what this trial was about. This trial was about trying to make an example out of him. It doesn't matter what the truth is, right? This isn't about the truth. That's not what the trial was about. The trial was about taking somebody like Alex Jones, who a lot of people respect and look up to and take him seriously, even though he's crazy or he acts crazy. He's not crazy, but, you know, he acts wild or whatever. But they, they're taking somebody like him. And they're like, oh, look what we can do to this guy. We can make him look like a fool. And what that does is people that follow him or people that look at similar information or knowledge that he puts out, they start to think, well, if he's wrong about this, then he's wrong about all this other stuff. And then it's like a cascade, right, of shit where it's like, well, who's associated with Alex Jones? And if you are, then you're full of shit, too. Right. That's the kind of stuff that I'm seeing. And that's exactly the point of what this trial was, is to get people to think that way, to be dismissive, to not take him serious, to dismiss anything he could say. He's a liar. He's a fraud, whatever. That's what this was about. And what that does is, again, people that take him serious or follow him or look into any of the information that he talks about, you know, aliens, whatever, the stuff he talks about, then you automatically just, you know, dismiss any of that information and you're like whatever if if he was wrong about this he's wrong about all of this other stuff now there's no way to know whether he was right or not about this in other words the claims that he's making how is anyone ever going to know whether he was right or not <laughs> whether that situation was fake or not right the sandy hook situation how is anyone really going to know other than the government and the people that were involved those are the only people that actually know if it was fake or not. Unless there was some whistleblower close to the situation that came out with some information. I don't know. I haven't fully looked into that. All I know is what Alex Jones said about it. But the little bit that I know is how would anybody really know unless you were there and unless you were involved, right? So how can anybody say that Alex Jones is wrong or he's making stuff up? The, the people that talk shit about him don't know shit about anything in the world at all. They don't know how the world works. They don't know that we're living in hell. They don't know that the world is controlled by demons. They don't know any of this shit. The only thing they know is, well, he was on TV and the government made him look bad or this court made him look bad or these people made him look bad and he had to pay all this money. So he's automatically wrong, right? 
That's how simple these motherfuckers are that attack him. Well, I'm here to tell you that I don't believe it's that simple. I'm not telling you whether it was real or not. I don't know. I wasn't there. All I'm saying is don't automatically shut down your mind and your thought process about what he says and about anything else that's related to him and his knowledge or information because he was put on trial to be made out to be a guinea pig basically or a scapegoat or an example right somebody that they can basically crucify in front of society and be like look look what we did to this guy we made him look they do this shit all the time they do this with so many people they put him up on a fucking cross and they crucify him in front of everybody and they're like well we just made him look like shit so if you were with him or if you believe anything he believes then now what now i'm curious to see what you know i heard him talking about oh they didn't completely shut down the truth and he feels like it was a moral victory for him or whatever because they didn't complete he didn't have to pay as much as they wanted and i highly doubt that that family was that damaged from whatever he said it's millions and millions of dollars get the fuck out of here you don't need that money you just want it just you're trying to destroy this man and and make yourself rich because he said something whatever if that's what it is that's what it is but long story short nobody knows what the truth is when it comes to this i don't know if he knows himself he's saying what he believes is the truth and i would actually i'm inclined to believe him more over you know the opposition i'll say that but i don't know either so i'm not going to tell you what it is or what it isn't all i know is i see what they're doing to him i see the kind of shit they're trying to um put on him and make him out to be this you know crazy psychotic guy that just makes shit up and doesn't know anything and because he's already a little bit over the top people already had this kind of idea about him so now they're trying to use this trial to make him look worse but anyways I'm probably going to look into the situation further and probably come back to this at a later time. But that's all I have for now. Just putting my two cents out there. Again, I, I see what they're doing to him. They're trying to make him look like a fool. And it is what it is. That's that's why I don't buy any of these trials or any other shit on TV. Like, oh, look, we're doing this trial and we're m- making this big deal out of some dumb shit. It's, a, it's all a show, right? Like, they just want to keep your attention. And then if you respect somebody or somebody is... A truth speaker so to so to say like basically quote-unquote truth speaker then they're ch- gonna try to make that person look bad that's that's all i'm seeing happening in the world and it is what it is but anyways said enough uh i'm over on twitch uh, i'm gaming over there if you want to follow me the link is in the description below i have my other social media down there if you want to support the channel you can do that in the description below and uh i hope you guys come back and Watch the next video, and uh, it is what it is. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.